Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to be discussing all of the books that you should read before the release date of Holly. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Stephen King has a new release in September. It's just titled Holly. And why is it called Holly? Because it has a fan favorite character, Holly Gibney, making a return. This time she has her own novel. In the past decade or so, she's made an appearance in several of Stephen King's new books. And basically in this video, I'm going to be discussing basically who Holly is and which books that she's in and why you should read these books before you pick up Holly. I'm sure uh, you'll be able to pick up Holly like just as a standalone. It's not technically a part of any series, but it'll probably make way more sense if you've read these previous books. So basically without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you don't know who the character of Holly is, I will explain. She first makes an appearance in the Bill Hodges trilogy, and the first book being Mr. Mercedes. And just as a shameless plug, I do have a review for all three of these books when I had to read, I think, book one as like a Patreon pick like last year. So uh, if you want my thoughts on the trilogy as a whole, you can do that. But for this video, I'm basically going to be talking about Holly and her appearance in the Bill Hodges trilogy. So basically, Mr. Mercedes, book one in the Bill Hodges trilogy, we follow a re retired police officer uh, and detective, Bill Hodges. And I think around halfway through, we meet the character of Holly, and we quickly realize that she is somewhere on the spectrum, and she has a lot of obsessive-compulsive tendencies, but she's also really good at computer hacking, which comes in handy for Bill when he's trying to figure out who the Mr. Mercedes killer is. And she's very uh, helpful in doing that. And basically in the whole series after book one, she starts working for him. Uh, I think he becomes like a private detective and she uh, helps him a lot, a lot with computer stuff. She's definitely an interesting character. I wouldn't say that she's a favorite. And definitely when I read the Bill Hodges trilogy for the first time, I, I wasn't a huge fan of her character. Uh, she's definitely, and some of her personality qu uh, traits. She's a bit quirky. She doesn't really curse. She she calls everything like uh, poopy a lot, which is kind of weird and funny. Uh, she also has a tendency to smoke, which is not great. And she knows a lot about movies. She can quote a lot of different movies. And like I said, she's very... Uh, obsessive compulsive disorder like she 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 needs things to be a certain way or else you know she has a tendency to you know lose patience and like be get, get really frustrated and so she is a very interesting character to read about uh, I think I do appreciate her more but definitely on the first time I read these I wasn't a huge fan although she did grow on me a little bit but basically, this is where she makes her first appearance in Mr. Mercedes, book one, and then Finders Keepers, book two, and then End of Watch, book three. And then obviously, she continues further on into the story. But essentially, she's used in this um, trilogy as kind of like a computer hack whiz. Like, she's really good with computer hacking. So a few years after he finishes um, the Mr. Mercedes trilogy with End of Watch, a few years later, we get The Outsider. Now, originally, when this first came out, we were not aware that Holly Gibney was going to be a character. And really, you don't figure that out. You don't really figure out how she's a part of the story or even that she's in the story until about halfway through. And I would say that this is one of my favorite Stephen King books of all time. Even though, like I said, Holly isn't like a favorite character of mine, she does play a pretty cool part in this story. 
basically, if you don't know, if you haven't read The Outsider, the, the premise of this is that uh, a poor boy uh, gets brutally murdered and assaulted by a character. And the police have, like, physical evidence to, to blame this guy. Uh, what's his name? His name is Terry Maitland. So they basically arrest him because they find evidence, like, kind of gross evidence kind of stuff, like, all over the crime scene that points directly to him being the murderer and the rapist. But there's also very compelling evidence that at the time of the murder, he was in a completely different uh, town. Like, I, I forget what he was doing, but like basically there's evidence of him being at the crime scene and him being far away from the crime scene. So they're trying to figure out how this is possible. And essentially it's kind of like a murder mystery at first, trying to figure out how is this possible. And then it starts to go into some wonky directions, which are very fun. And eventually the people, the characters in this book that are trying to figure out enlist the help of the detective agency that Holly Gibney is a part of in the Bill Hodges trilogy. So that's where she kind of gets introduced to the story. And for me, when I first started this, I was like, oh no, why is, why is Stephen King bringing Holly into this? It seemed unnecessary at the time, but you get into it and she, I, I did like her character and I liked the directions that everything went in. And like I said, this is an all time favorite for me. I gave this book four and a half stars. Uh, I will reread this eventually. I might even be tempted to reread it before Holly comes out just because it, you know, it is a part of Holly's story. So I might reread it. Uh, yes. So I would say if you haven't read these books, definitely, uh, read the Bill Hodges trilogy before you read The Outsider, because if you read The Outsider, it's basically going to spoil you for everything that's happened in the Bill Hodges trilogy. So definitely read that first and then jump into the Outsider. And then after you read The Outsider, the last thing that I would suggest you read before you read Holly, you don't have to probably, but you probably should. Like if you've read Bill Hodges trilogy and The Outsider, you might as well read this next book. Uh, not even this whole book, just a part of the book. And that would be If It Bleeds, which is one of my all-time favorite Stephen King novella collections. And actually the title story in the collection, If It Bleeds, is Holly's story. The rest of the novellas have nothing to do with Holly, but the title story, If It Bleeds, is basically what happens after the events of The Outsider. And it's very compelling. And this is kind of the novella that made me like Holly more as a character. Because in the Bill Hodges trilogy, she was more of a minor character, especially in book one. And then even Stephen King himself stated that like originally she was just to be supposed to be this minor character that no one really would pay that much attention to. But as he started writing her, he just felt compelled and compelled to write more. And he kind of, it kind of just took over his writing life, obviously, now that he's writing a standalone novel called Holly. It's one of his favorite characters and she's slowly become a fan favorite. She's not one of my all-time favorites, but she's grown on me quite a bit. And like I said, especially because of this one, because in this one, it's her story. It's like 150 maybe like 200 page novella. It's all her story after the events of The Outsider. And of course, because of spoilers, I can't really get into what it's about because that would kind of give away the ending or, you know, to The Outsider. So I can't go into it. But if you've read The Outsider, you know the ending. There's more to that story. I will say that much. And I think it's really compelling. And after reading this and knowing that Holly is getting a standalone novel, I'm very compelled and interested and intrigued to see what her story will be after the events of this book. Um, so yeah, basically to summarize, you should definitely read, I, I shouldn't say definitely, you can probably read Holly as a standalone, but it'll probably spoil all of the books that I just mentioned in this video. So I would highly suggest that if you want to read Holly and you haven't read any of these books, definitely start with the Bill Hodges trilogy, uh, Mr. Mercedes, which is a pretty good novel. Finders Keepers, which I think is excellent. It really should have been a standalone. <laughs> more, more on that in my actual book review for it. But yeah, great book. And then End of Watch, which I really don't like and don't recommend. Unless you want to <laughs> not get spoiled for it. Uh, 
yeah, read that trilogy. And then after that, The Outsider, fantastic book. Yeah, Holly is a major part of that book, especially in the second half. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. And then if you've read The Outsider and really enjoyed it and want to kind of continue with stuff that happens in there, read If It Bleeds, because If It Bleeds is essentially a sequel to The Outsider. It's very good. And yeah, like I said, I can't talk about it that much because spoilers. And then after that, uh, if you've read all five of those or four of those novels and then just one novella, you're all caught up and you can read Holly and not get spoiled for anything, essentially. So I would highly suggest it. Um, like I said, I'm probably, I'm very tempted to read, uh, to reread The Outsider. Uh, I think I read If It Bleeds last year, so I'm not sure if I'm going to reread it again this year since I just reread it so recently. But I haven't read The Outsiders since its release, and at this point, it's been at least five, four or five years, so I need a bit of a refresher for me. Uh, I, I reread last year the first two Bill Hodges books. I'm not really a fan of the third book, so I, I don't really want to read it. But yeah, so th those are the books I, that I would recommend, and I am uh, pretty excited for Holly's story. Originally, I wasn't just because I was like, uh, I don't know. But, you know, after reading If It Bleeds again, uh, I, I, do, I do really, I've grown to like her as a character. Like I said, she's not like an all-time favorite, but it'll be very interesting to see her story. And I'm really kind of going in blind. I don't really want to know too much about what happened, especially after reading the, uh, the blurb or the summary for fairy tale like that that summary gives away like the first third of the book and it's just like ugh, I, I hate when publishing companies do that so I really don't want to know that much going in the only thing that I know is that Holly is the main character and it takes place during like COVID like the pandemic so I think that'll be very interesting like I said she's very OCD so I feel like she's going to have a problem with people not wearing masks and she's going to feel in danger a lot of the time because she doesn't want to get sick and she'll probably be investigating something. I don't know what that would be, but I'm very interested. The only thing that kind of sucks about it is that the cover for the book is not very good. Like, like It just looks like a generic thriller. Like you're Stephen King. Like, get a cool cover for it. Like, this one just does not look good at all. I don't know. But either way, I'm excited. I'm always excited for new Stephen King, whatever it is. So, yeah. So, the, like, like, I turned this video longer than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a quicker video. But I'm sure y'all aren't too mad at me. Uh, if you are interested in reading Holly and you haven't read any of these books... Wow, the lighting changed a bit here. It got darker and... My face looks weird. <laughs> but, but anyway, if you're interested in reading Holly and you haven't read these books yet, did I convince you to read them before you pick up Holly? And if you've read these books and you're interested in reading Holly, do you agree with me that it would be a good idea? And if you've read some of these books, you know what? I'm not sure where I'm going with this. <laughs> uh, just read these books. That, that's what I'm trying to say. You should read these books before you read Holly. End of the video. Not really, because I'm going to thank y'all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel in the Book of Strummer Discord, where we will definitely be doing a buddy read for Holly. So if you want to read Holly with us in September, go join the Book of Strummer Discord. We'll for sure have a channel open for that in September. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.